It's my mama! Good day and welcome to Joe Migel's Wild Adventures. I'm Joe Migel, and today in this episode, I have two, not one, but two very special guests. Oh, 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 what wonders shall we behold? Firstly, I would like to welcome all the way from the amazing land of Angel Grove. Please welcome Jason Lee Scott. Sir, bitch. And in addition, my second guest, all the way from the sewers of New York City, Leonardo. Call me Leo. Boy, can I? Sure, no problem, dude. Oh, amazing. Now, Jason. You. You are the initial primary leader of the Power Rangers, correct? Damn straight. But then, in Season 2, Episode 17, entitled White Light, everything changed, did not. <sighs> Me and Tommy was always cool. He knew his place, I knew mine. But then he goes and gets these new tiger powers of his, and then all of a sudden that green motherfucker thinks he's the shit. Excuse me, green motherfucker? The hell's that supposed to mean? Please, Leo, you will have your turn. No, no, no. I want to hear what he means by green motherfucker. Hey, man, I didn't mean nothing by it. Bullshit! First you make the black guy the black ranger, the Asian chick the yellow ranger. Oh, way to bring that up. Like, nobody has ever mentioned that to me before. And besides, Zordon was the one who came up with the colors, not me. Yeah, whatever. Now, Leo. Yeah? Tell me about the Shredder. Shredder was a bitch. Hey, fuck you, asshole! Dude, what was up with the ending of Ninja Turtles 2? Regular Shredder can fall off a building and survive being crushed by a garbage compactor, but Super Shredder can't survive a bunch of wood falling on him? Dude, it wasn't just some wood. An entire nightclub fell on top of him. I guess the power of vanilla ice is more dangerous than we thought. We had other villains too, you know. <sighs> Don't get me started on that Krang fucker. That thing looked like Slimer's gay cousin. Yeah? Well, what about you? Who the hell did you ever fight? Have you ever actually seen Lord Zed? Motherfucker was nothing but exposed muscle with a metal skeleton? Dude, his brain was exposed. That's badass. Yeah, dude at the end of Handball had his brain exposed too. It worked out really great for him. Hey, listen, motherfucker. All I would have to do is call on the Megazord. We used to take on the Technodrome. We would destroy your precious little Megazord during the 20 minutes it takes for it to put itself together. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please! You are the leaders of two of the most powerful superhero groups in history, and as such, you will act accordingly! Sorry. Sorry. Do not be sorry. Just don't do it again. But I do believe there is one thing that we can all agree on. What's that? Kimberly was pretty hot. True. True.